What's up everyone, welcome back to the shop. A few years ago, I made a watch display case. It was a ton of fun and I also get a ton of questions about it. So I figured, let's make another one. We need a couple things for this project. We need some glass. Well, a bigger piece than this, but you know what I mean. We need some hinges. I got some awesome brass hinges that I'm gonna use. Mm -hmm. And then we need some wood. Check out this beautiful slab of walnut. Oh my gosh, I chainsaw milled this. Uh, and it is perfectly dry. Absolutely love it. I just want to, just want to touch it. Okay, this is obviously way bigger than what I really need, but I love this grain. So this is what we're going to make it out of. I need to do some milling and get this thing prepared. Millie's all done, board looks good. So now I need to take this one board and turn it into four boards. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut it to its final length and its width now while it's one board. Then I'll resaw it in half and then I can figure out which parts I wanna cut to be the, the long sides and the short sides of the case. Cause I wanna have the grain wrap around but I wanna make sure that the nicest grain is right there in the front. Time to cut some miter joints. I'm gonna use my table saw for this. I've got my blade at 45 degrees. I got miter, miter gauge, I got my stop block, I got my sacrificial fence. Let's knock these out. Boom, we have ourselves an awesome box with wraparound grain. The next step is to cut a bunch of grooves in this thing. We need to cut a groove for the box bottom, which is wood, and the box top, which is glass. So I'm gonna throw a ripping blade in my table saw and cut those out. I got all my pieces cut. I've got my box bottom cut. So let's glue this together and make it look like an actual box. Let's put our box bottom in there. All right, we got a box. These clamps are really weird, but they're freaking awesome. Now that the glue's dried, I get to see these sweet miters. Really love it. And at this point, I guess I could just stop and start working on removing the lid and all that stuff, but I think splines would look pretty cool, so let's do that. I think splines for a box like this just gives it a little bit of sophistication. In order to do that, I've got the spline making jig. I have a video that goes over step by step how to make one. You can click up there, watch the whole video. So I've got my box, I got my stop block, I got a ripping blade, time to cut them. For my splines, I'm gonna use brass. I think brass and walnut just looks really good together. I'm just using CA glue to glue these splines in place. I've been using CA glue for years on brass and aluminum. It's always worked out really good. While I'm gluing these splines into place, let me give a big shout out to our superhero community over on Patreon. If you wanna be a superhero yourself, Head on over to Patreon and sign up today. You'll get all kinds of extra video sneak peeks, behind the scenes, woodworking plans, all kinds of fun stuff. And your support over there really helps out the channel, helps me to make better videos over here on YouTube. Right now I got me a pretty sweet, well, tray, kind of, you know, cause it's just a big open space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the lid off or what's supposed to be the lid, because again, it's open. I'm gonna cut that off. I like to use the table saw, but you can also use the bandsaw if you really want to. And then I'm gonna take some glass and put glass inside there. I did buy extra glass because I know me and well, things happen.
Moment of truth, let's make sure it fits in there. Ooh. Oh yeah. I got a cool looking box. I got a cool looking lid with glass in it. So now I need to make all these dividers that go inside for all of our watches to fit in place. So I milled up a bunch of boards here and I need to go over and cut all of these to make this liner work out. Check it out. Nice. The liner looks great. So now I need to put some hinges. So I've got these sweet Brousseau hinges. Oh, these things look beautiful. So I got to grab my chisels, grab a mallet and cut out the mortises for those. Now I do have a video on how to install hinges. So you can always check that out. I go over all the details. The hinges work great, so I went ahead and took apart the entire box and then sanded all the components. And then for the brass splines, I sanded those with a super high grit sandpaper to polish those up. I got the box bottom right here, and I'm gonna put in a leather liner on the bottom just to give a little bit of cushioning for that watch band to sit against. So I've got some black leather here, and it matches the watch pillows I got, so that's kind of cool. I'm gonna use spray adhesive to stick the leather onto the wood. I always recommend making a test piece first, so I cut a piece of leather off and spray glued it onto this piece of walnut and works good. I applied three coats of a hard wax finish and buffed it out with a rag and man, that finish looks beautiful. I'm really proud with how this watch display case turned out. And I'm also excited to announce that this is going to be the launch of my new research and development laboratory on newtonmakes.com. So this is a place where you can go to get in-depth tutorials on different projects or techniques. And the watch display case is the first one in there. So if you head on over there, you'll see that you can get up to eight videos on this particular project to go over every little detail. And you should be able to walk away being able to build your own watch display case. Now, since this is the first project and it's the launch of the site, I will have this project on sale for a limited time. So if you're interested in making this or something really similar, I would definitely check that out. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, consider subscribing to the channel and until we meet again, get in your shop and build something awesome.